forecast is the past few days where we've had very chilly temperatures and wind chills even chillier. 22 is what it feels like right now in Jackson, but it's without much of the precipitation that we've been experiencing over the past few days, which is good. In news of travel wise, especially going across the Teton Pass and other more mountainous areas make travel more safer and easier. But for ski resorts trying to open up by Thanksgiving, uh, they're not having enough yet. The past system did provide about seven inches into Grand Targhee this afternoon and uh, in the past 24 hours, which is nice, but going to need a little more than that. I've over here heard from some people that you might need as much as a foot or even two feet to even kickstart the season. But live look at our Viper radar shows how clear it is not only here, but throughout much of the Pacific Northwest, especially in Oregon and Washington, which is where most of our weather comes from. So looking at a pretty calm next 24 hours ahead as a high pressure system keeps on rolling through and has pretty much cleared out much of the moisture that's pushed off way farther off to the east side. You see another cold front possibly coming on through that will look to hit us, but it's going to take some time. It's got to get through some high pressure systems and be able to push that farther out to the east side. So let's get into the Viper cast here for you. Moving on ahead, heading into tomorrow as we get there. There we go. High pressure system keeps on moving east. Then we got a dig on of a ridge forming into the Pacific, much of the Pacific Northwest for tomorrow, basically putting the cold front on hold, you could say. Uh, moving into Sunday as well as Monday. It's going to take time to move this thing finally out. You see it definitely moves farther off to the east on Monday and the cold front becomes a lot more clear on our doorstep then as well as temperatures actually going to raise a little bit Monday thanks to the southwesterly flow giving us a little bit of a warmer breeze actually to move in highs into the mid 40s for Monday. Then moving on to Tuesday, cold front moves on through but it's not going to have too much moisture. You see the only main focus is a where we're going to be dealing with the precipitation is going to be the snow stuck into the more mountainous regions of central Idaho and into the Tetons, into the valleys, not expecting too much. Another high pressure system comes on for Wednesday, and that will continue on for Thursday before our next system looks to affect us on Friday and Saturday of next week. So we're going to be caught in that break just in time for Thanksgiving, where we're looking at partly cloudy skies. Temperatures, though, yes, very chilly. Again, continuing for up much of the weeks with highs in the 30s. That's almost what we're expecting for tomorrow as well, except with some early morning fog. Not everywhere, but we're mainly looking at these in the upper Snake River Plains from Idaho Falls to Rexburg to Arco and possibly continuing into Island Park as well. Highs tomorrow in the low 40s and upper 30s for southeastern Idaho. We're sticking with highs in the mainly uh, mainly in the uh, lower 40s. For us there, 38 in Driggs, 32 in Island Park tomorrow. A little bit farther out west, a low of 8 tonight in Stanley. Bundle up there, but high sticking in the mid 40s for tomorrow mostly. But in the Snicker Plains and Valleys, we're going to dig it up just below 40 degrees. The high of 41 expected in Blackfoot tomorrow. Speaking of Blackfoot, here's your 8-day forecast. Moving on ahead, here's 45 degrees on Monday. And then heading into Tuesday, up, up down to 44, just slightly, but windy conditions. The cold front will come on through and get down highs to 36 on Wednesday. Rexburg highs around 38 tomorrow with that morning fog. Expecting tomorrow might take just a little bit of extra time to get where you're going, especially with that reduced visibility. Expecting a high of 37 on your Thanksgiving. Leading into Salmon, 47 tomorrow, 54 on Monday. Just huge breezes up from the south will help that out, but then we're back down to 41 by Wednesday and it's a possible 30% chance of rain on Friday with our second system moving through. Jackson, one of those areas that can get some uh, possible snow from the cold front moving forward Tuesday night and into Wednesday, 20% chances of snow there. High of 39 tomorrow. Pocatello 43 tomorrow, but we're up to 48 on Monday and then right back down to 38 on Wednesday. Finally, out of Falls, 40 tomorrow. Mostly sunny skies after the morning hours was maybe mixed in with some fog. But we're leading up to highs in the mid 40s, at least for Monday and Tuesday, and then right back down in the 30s for Thanksgiving. Okay, so it looks like at least travel weather not too bad for Thanksgiving. Yes, it'll be good. Nothing's right. going to accumulate That's too good. much, which will be good, but bad for if you're trying to open right. ski you're resorts. Right, yeah. 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 Oh, well, so we're going to work on good, that one next. It's yeah. good of both. Yeah. <laughs> right. All right. Thanks so much.